One of the challenges that in Kenya we're experiencing is that Kenyan artists have no online presence. This means that you cannot get personal information about them if you need to reach them. Our difficulty always has been with publicity and of course, you know, reaching out to a wider audience. So a lot of times even artists want to collaborate with someone who is not in their field. It's really difficult to be able to connect with them. One of the challenges in Zimbabwe is a lack of information. I don't think you can your work can just speak for itself. I think you have to act in a professional way. This has been a very exciting project from the beginning because what it does is it allows uh, cultural practitioners from around the world to collaborate, network, see what each other is doing, and it allows us to connect in a way that has never been done before. Sud Planet is certainly the boîte magic that will permit to different creators des différentes disciplines artistiques, de trouver les compétences dont elles ont besoin, de trouver les lieux dont ils ont besoin pour présenter, pour mettre en vitrine leur, euh, leur création. Communication is such a crucial element in the promotion of arts and culture in Africa. And the Sud Planet project has added a new dimension to this effort. Sud Planet a permis à beaucoup d'acteurs de vraiment penser à créer une base de données, à distribuer l'information. Be able to enhance uh, the capacity of the sector in Zimbabwe to professionalize um, by having people gather as much data about who is doing what in the creative sector and what is the value of their you know, products and how can they market themselves, how can they market their products locally and internationally. South Planet, everyone good for the way blow musician and Miss Ave. I make an emblem. I say put an emblem at least. No, my blue La culture est un site qui permet aujourd'hui de promouvoir la culture pour qu'il avait permet à à nos artistes d'être mieux vus sur le plan national et international. On a une information de première main qui est une information nettement plus juste que celle qu'on va trouver dans des archives ou dans des articles. Fait ou écrit par des personnes extérieures au pays. I also love that it's international, so it's not only Kenya. If you wanted to do a search for an artist, for example, in Mozambique, or you wanted to find an artist in West Africa, whatever, that's possible. I heard of artsghana.org when I was in need of promotion for my newly completed feature documentary called Gold is Here. I finished the film and after Everything, my funding was exhausted. I didn't have enough money to promote the film. So I used Art Ghana as my main online promotion platform for the premiere of my film and for other major screenings I've done since the premiere. And um, it's, it has a wider reach, so I get a lot of responses. I reach a lot of audience from the, with the website. These two platforms have been very beneficial to me uh, and my company. I have some friends in Europe, curators, who've been using it already. And they were surprised at the amount of people you could find here in the Pacific. I'm a filmmaker that wants to, uh, to, to, to cast people for film, for maybe acting roles or directors. I don't need to advertise too much these days. I just need to go to South Planet Photo and look at who is doing what, and look at their profiles, yeah, and, and call them up. When we speak of other galleries outside of Uganda or, okay, even Kenya, um, most people don't know about any galleries. So when we try and talk about, um, you know, things that are happening even in West Africa, artists, they have no context to understand what we're actually telling them. But with a site like this, they can start to understand what is going on out of the bubble of Kampala. Artsghana.org has helped me a lot. It's promoted my works. It's been a platform for people to see my works, as well as connecting with people from outside Ghana, artists, choreographers, directors, etc. À travers un site comme Sud Planet, euh, qui a cette exhaustivité, je vais pouvoir aller trouver des festivals qui sont spécialisés en cinéma noir, euh, éventuellement euh, spécialisés en documentaire ou qui ont des catégories documentaires. Ça fait plaisir 
lorsque un tiers dit à un organisateur de festival « Ah, j'ai vu, j'ai vu euh, ton annonce sur Burkina Culture. » Et là, les gens se rendent compte que c'est important. Artsghana.org, unlike the other um, entertainment or art website, doesn't charge anything. It is very affordable. What I really like about this um, Sweet Planet is that it's very simple. It's quite straightforward. It tells you, you know, you put your name here, you give us a little bit of a bio here, um, it lets you choose a country, and then from there it lets you choose your medium, like whether you're in the, in the fine arts or in music or whatever. The simplicity of the site is what will make it work. Wasani wenzangu, ambawa kupata bahati ya kujiunga, au kuingetika jumuya hii, wafanyi halaka yuzikanavyo. Na shauri, wajiunga sasa, na weze kujifunza zaili na zaili. Information is power. And I think each and every artist in Ghana should enroll or register on the SPLA platform. So be on the portal.